from WFSP, this is an Eyewitness News update. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. The man accused of stalking UConn star Paige Beckers was in court on Monday. 40-year-old Robert Parmalee from Washington State allegedly sent emails to UConn back in July claiming he wanted to marry Beckers. Parmalee was seen uh, a few weeks ago walking near Bradley Airport. When police stopped him, they realized he was wanted and arrested him. A judge signed a protective order saying he has to stay away from Mansfield and have no contact with Beckers. Two fights hours apart led to arrests and injuries at the Big E this weekend. 48-year-old James Stanley and his 33-year-old son Levi Stanley were arrested and charged with disorderly conduct, malicious destruction of property, and assault and battery. Then around 11 p.m., police approached a group of people arguing and arrested two more people who would not listen to officers ordering them to leave. All right, Mark Dixon here with your first alert seven-day forecast. Temperatures Tuesday similar to Monday despite uh, some scattered mid- and high-level clouds after morning fog burns off. Connecticut Day at the Big E, mostly cloudy, dry, a little bit cooler compared to Tuesday, mid- and upper 70s here across Connecticut. A couple degrees cooler on Thursday after some morning showers, partial clearing. Showers possible again on Friday, low 70s. The upcoming weekend looking dry and bright, but uh, more autumn-like as we officially kick off the season. High temperatures, upper 60s and low 70s.